Hi, and welcome back. In this short session, I'm talking to Terry O'Sullivan, uh, who is an associate lecturer, a full-time academic, and a student at the Open University. And currently, he's looking after the faculties of Business and Law's groundbreaking programme of massive open online courses, otherwise known as MOOCs. So, Terry, you tell us that your favourite thing about the Open University has to be the inspiring students that you get to meet past and present. Now, how do they engage in, in MOOCs, and what's going on with the MOOC programme? Well, uh, I, I'm, <laughs> I guess if they've got time to engage with MOOCs, I think it's, a, it's well worth the investment of their time. MOOCs are available for anybody to study. You don't have to be a member of the Open University. But uh, we have uh, a part of, part of the Open University set up as we own uh, an organisation called FutureLearn, which is uh, a MOOC platform. And we have uh, a lot of MOOCs on that platform playing um, sort of throughout the year. Brilliant. Now, how does FutureLearn differ to OpenLearn? OK, uh, OpenLearn is also something that's very much part of the Open University. OpenLearn's been going 10 years this year, in fact. Um, and OpenLearn is where we house our open educational resources, which aren't necessarily MOOCs. Um, there are things called badged open courses you can do on OpenLearn, which are a bit like MOOCs. But the main difference is that with a MOOC, it's like a course as a beginning and an end, and you do it with a number of other people get moving through the weeks. Whereas uh, a badged open course or another uh, uh, resource like that on OpenLearn, you can do it really whenever you want to. Okay, so there's a time That's timeliness yeah. with a MOOC and yeah. also a sense of a community of learners Correct. going yeah. through something yeah. with, with some leads. Now, tell us a little bit about Route to Credit then, because this is something that's quite different in terms of some of the MOOCs that are available. Okay, well, this is an innovation we've been working on uh, and launched this year. We're the first um, university in Europe to do this. Uh, and basically what it, what it involves is taking a, a pre-selected um, pre program, as they're known, of MOOCs on FutureLearn. So you can either do uh, um, uh, a, a series of uh, MOOCs that are based, uh, if you like, at, at undergraduate level, um, or you can do a series of MOOCs that are based for at postgraduate level. And the learning that you acquire through these MOOCs is then assessed by a module that you'd register for with the Open University. Because the way that things like quality assurance works with uh, um, the credit framework for the UK is different from the way that MOOC learnings work. So if you want to bring, bring your learning into a credit framework, then you have to, you have to basically do it this way. You, you learn through the MOOCs and you bring that learning to be assessed at the Open University. Okay. And so what are some of the financial implications then in terms of how this might work? Well, you, in a sense, you pay as you go. Uh, with the MOOC route. You, you, it, for each MOOC that you take, you are assessed in the MOOC itself and you get something called a Certificate of Achievement, which shows that you've, uh, you can demonstrate a certain amount of learning and you've also engaged with a minimum amount of the MOOC's content. Um, and for each of those, uh, for the undergraduate uh, level, for example, it's £49 per Certificate of Achievement. For the postgraduate level, it's £59 per Certificate of, of Achievement. And you bring those, uh, as I say, into the Open University's assessment uh, vehicle, which you also uh, pay a, a fee for, for to, to register as you would with any other module. Um, and it basically spreads the cost of your learning that way. Okay, excellent. Now, some of these, in particular from the Faculty of Business and Law, would be really useful in terms of boosting employability. Absolutely. So can yeah. you t give us an example of something that students might look at um, that, that would really help their skill level? Certainly. I think we do have to uh, emphasise as well that you can do the MOOCs individually without any credit implications at all. But a very, very good uh, example, I think, of, um, of, a, of, of a MOOC that gives you a very quick uh, payoff in terms of employability skills is the one that's currently um, playing uh, on networking. It's not actually too late to join it. We're in the third week, but it's still not too late to join it. And the feedback we've had from the learners on the MOOC at the mo uh, so far has been that they've found it really, really useful, for example, in helping, to de helping them to develop uh, a better LinkedIn profile. I mean, some of them have been reporting a uh, vastly increased number of hits on their LinkedIn profile through following the kind of advice that we've been providing in the MOOC. Excellent. So some real impact there in terms of networking. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you very much. Terry, that's all we've got time for today, but thank you for filling us in on the MOOCs. That sounds really exciting. Thank you very much, Karen.